Hey everybody, it's Marin and welcome to my minimalist shoe collection. So you guys ask me all the time, why do I have a bed when I sleep on the floor? I guess it makes sense because a lot of you guys come from the why we sleep on the floor video. And I'm just gonna clarify with you, this room is my office slash guest room. And this room is the only room on the other side of the house and it's not next to the outdoor waterfall that makes a lot of noise. The rest of my house is a continual mess occupied with children, work stuff, and all of our cooking stuff. So this is a place where I can come and get the most serenity and most focus to film my videos. And plus, it remains pretty clean since we don't really live in here. So for today, I wanted to share with you my minimalist shoe collection. Some of you guys have been asking how many shoes I owned. I told somebody three, and then I forgot that I actually had two work shoes. So let's go over those today. First and foremost, the main shoes that I wear, keeping in mind that I'm on an island, I don't have any like multi-seasons, it's usually pretty warm and dry here. So my first go-to pair of shoes are my flip-flops. And I love these flip-flops so much. The company owner decided to contact me and send me a pair of my choice, and I really believe that they feel good. They, this is not sponsored. These are my favorite pair of flip-flops simply because they feel really good on my feet. So with flip-flops being said, I usually have a pair of yucky flip-flops. I know that seems really weird to have a secondary pair of flip-flops. You can tell these guys are pretty beat up and well used, but I actually hike in my flip-flops here. I'm really fortunate that we don't really have anything poisonous or anything harmful hiking out here, and it's just nice and comfortable to hike in flip-flops. If you guys are from Hawaii or have visited here, you know what I mean. Next, my go-to pair of shoes are my boots. These are boots that I purchased over five years ago when I was pregnant with Elevy and we were living in Ohio. They are made of suede, which is something that I've learned recently is actually leather. I didn't know that. I thought that suede was a faux leather, like a high-end faux leather, and that was something that I recently looked up in response to one of my videos. So they're suede, but what I really love about these particular shoes is that they're not too heavy on the inside, so I can choose how much warmth I get by simply wearing certain layers of socks. They're also completely waterproof, so I like hiking with them here sometimes, especially in wetter regions if I'm going down the gulches or going through the tall grass. If you guys have ever gone through guinea grass or um, I think it's called banana grass, I'm not sure, but whatever grass is out here, it cuts a lot. So it's nice to save some of your legs by wearing a higher pair of shoes. I will not be replacing these shoes because I, now I know they're suede, but I will be looking to get something similar once I wear these guys all the way down. Next, I would normally wear a pair of closed-toed shoes depending on what region I'm at. Here, I haven't found the need to do so, but I do own a couple pairs. So, I have two pairs of sneakers and these are simply for work purposes only. I just got these from Ross, I think, a couple years ago. And um, I have two because one is for outdoors, one is for indoors. So I don't wear shoes inside the house. And I also like to keep my exercise mats clean. So if I'm doing any sort of fitness videos or photos indoors, I wear the indoor shoes, nice and clean, dirty. So that's all I have for shoes right now. But like I said, if I was in a different weather, I would probably have some form of closed-toed shoes that were low ankle like sneakers or something of that sort. And that's what works for me here in Hawaii. So let me know what you guys have as far as shoes go. I know there's no dress shoes. I simply don't wear them. There was a day and age where I used to be a high heels gal, but not a high heels gal anymore. So as far as that's being said, that is my shoe collection. I hope that gives you guys sort of an idea of what you could wear for shoes. If you do tend to go out more or need some sort of dress attire, then you can add dress shoes to this. For me, I find that a half a dozen pairs or less works really good for me. Some people like shoes a little bit more and they like to own a little more shoes. There's nothing wrong with that. It's always just about asking what adds value to you in your life. So thank you again for watching this video. I hope you guys liked it and I will see you guys on the next video. If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comments below and then I'll go ahead and see you in the next video. <laughs> Ciao.